Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the course on uh, biostatistics and design of experiments. Um, we have started talking about uh, factorial designs and then fractional factorial designs. Uh, factorial designs are extremely powerful. We are looking at uh, 3, 4, 5, 6 factors at 2 levels. Then they are also called a 2 power n design where this uh, 2 indicates the levels, n indicates number of the factors or parameters. So, we can have 3 power n designs and so on actually. Then I started introducing the terminology of fractional factorial design that means you do a fraction of those factorial design. So, what are the disadvantages of full factorial design? Okay, suppose I take two factors A, B like temperature and pH. So, I can study um, the main effects um, of temperature and pH. So, I will be doing four experiments okay? uh, like yesterday I talked about um, A at lower level then um, A at higher level, B at lower level, B at higher level. So, there are 4 experiments. So, we can study the effects, main effects. We can also study interaction A, B effect. That is called the interaction, that is called A, B effect. Okay? Now, let us look at these 3 factor that is temperature, pH and uh, carbon. That is a 3 factor. So, uh, 2 raised to the power 3 design. 2 raised to the power 3 design that is 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8 experiments. Okay, so, that will um, we can study the main effects that is temperature, pH and uh, carbon. Then we can study 3 2 way interactions A B, B C, A C okay, that is 3. In addition we can also study uh, 3 way interactions A B C. And I, yesterday I mentioned generally uh, in systems you will always see a two way interaction like uh, the drug uh, interacting with the race or drug interacting with the gender or sometimes temperature interacting with pH, but three way interactions are very, very rare. Okay? So, three way interactions are very rare. Now, if you take four factors that is temperature, pH, carbon and nitrogen, we can study each one of these main effects that is temperature, effect of temperature alone, effect of pH alone, effect of carbon alone, effect of nitrogen alone. In addition, we can also study um, the two way interaction A, B, A, C, A, D, B, C, B, D, uh, C, D and so on. So, there are 6 in number and then there will be a three way interaction A, B, C, B, C, D, A, C, D uh, like that B, C, D that is 4 and then we will, there will be a four way interaction A, B, C, D like that it goes. So, if I am going to have a 5 factors 2 raised to the power 5, we are talking about in terms of 32 experiments and in addition we are also talking about lot of 3 way and 4 way and 5 way interactions which are redundant actually. So, Box said there tends to be a redundancy in full factorial design because we have excess number of interactions and generally interactions like 3 way, 4 way, 5 way, 6 way are very, very, very rare. 2 way yes, but others are rare. So, we are seeming to be doing too many experiments from that point of view and also if you do too many experiments, uh, it is going to be time consuming, resource consuming. So, why not go into fractional factorial design? That means, you do a fraction of the factorial design. So, you take the factorial and and then make a fraction. It could be half of that, it could be one fourth of that and so on actually. So, how do you go about doing it? Uh, yesterday I talked about it. Suppose I have uh, 3 factors A, B, C. I have to do 2 raised to the power 3, okay? that is 8 experiments. So, A is given like this, B is given like this, C is given like this. Uh, I also talked about the um, okay, 2 things, the orthogonality and um, the um, symmetry. Okay? That means, you have 4 minus means you have 4 plus. If you have say 4 minus means you will have 4 plus. If you have 4 minus means you have 4 plus. Even the interactions will be symmetry. That is why it is called orthogonal. Okay? It is called orthogonal. Okay? This is a very symmetric design. Okay? Now, even the A, B, C will be symmetric. Now, the question is I have 4 parameters or 4 factors A, B, C, D. 
a b c d. So, I do not want to do a 2 power 4 experiment, 2 power 4 is 16 experiments, but can you do it in 8 experiments? Okay. That is a half factorial of 2 power 4, okay, half of 2 power 4, that is 8 experiments. So, where do I put my d? So, I put my d here, this is the highest order interaction and as I have been telling that uh, 3 way interactions are very rare, so can I put d? That means, this will correspond to how you change d. Then what happens? Just like uh, a b, b c, a c, we can also have a d, b d, c d. And if you do that, interestingly, they all come like this. Okay, they all come like this. Okay, so each main effect is interacting with the three-way uh, interaction. Okay, so A is interacting with B C D, B is interacting with A C D, C is interacting with A B D, and these uh, these variables are also interacting with each other. Okay, C D is interacting with A B. B D interacting with A C, A D interacting with B C and so on actually. Okay. Actually as I said this is at half of 2 raised to the power 4 design or 2 4 minus 1 fractional factorial. This tells you number of parameters, this tells you whether it is half or 1 fourth and so on. If it is 1 fourth I would have put 2 here. Okay. Okay, Let us uh, go back to another uh, problem. Suppose I have x 1, x 2, x 3 a 2 raised to the power 3 will be 8 experiments, but I do not want to do 8 experiments, so I am doing only 4 experiments. That is this, how do you write this? 2 raised to the power 3 minus 1 design because it is half of 2 raised to the power 3. Instead of 8 experiments, I am doing only 4 experiments. Okay, so, first to look at this uh, symmetry, okay. 2 pluses, 2 minuses, uh, the, the, um, the orthogonality, even the first order interactions of 2 pluses, 2 minus. So, this is a good design. So, we have taken this half of uh, uh, 2 raised to the power 3 or 2 raised to the power 3 minus 1 design. Okay. Instead of doing 8 experiments for uh, 3 variables namely 2 raised to the power 3, we are doing only 4 experiments. Okay. If you look at this and this, okay. There is a confounding between x3 and x1, x2, they are exactly the same. Similarly, if you look at x2 and x1, x3, they are exactly the same. So, there is a confounding between x2 and x1, x3. Similarly, if you look here and there, plus plus, minus minus, minus minus, plus plus. So, there is a confounding between um, x1 and x2, x3. So, main effects that is x1, x2, x3 are called the main effects are aliased with two factor interactions. Main effects are aliased with two factor interaction. So, I am using a new word alias. Main effects are aliased with. So, there is a confounding of main effect with uh, two factor interactions. Main effects confounding. So, this is called a resolution 3 design. Okay. This is called a resolution 3 design. Okay, main effects are confounding with two factor interactions. Main effects are confounding with two factor interactions as you can see here and uh, this is called a resolution 3 design. How do you decide? You look at the number of uh, terms here, so 3 terms. So, we can call this as resolution 3 design. Main effects are confounding with two factor interaction. So, it is okay if you can do this experiment, but uh, if uh, there are any changes uh, for example, um, you cannot differentiate whether it is because of a main effect or the two-way interactions. Do you understand? Okay. For example, if I take these and this, suppose this is uh, temperature, this is pH, this is a carbon amount. Okay. So, if I ch see a change uh, because of carbon amount, I see a change in the yield. I cannot say whether it is because of the carbon amount or because of the two-factor interaction that is temperature versus pH because they are aliased there is a confounding. Do you understand? So, <coughs> uh, I will not be able to tell whether it is because of the change in carbon, I am seeing some changes in my yield or is it because of the uh, confounding of x3 with the x1, x2 which is temperature and p into pH. So, your temperature into pH may also give um, the same changes, I will not be able to really differentiate. So, because they are confounded, there is an alias okay? and this is called a resolution 3 design. Generally, resolution 3 designs are not liked because the main effects are 
and main effects of course are very useful. So, uh, we do not want, but if the main effects are alleged with 3 factor interactions then it is ok. Like in our previous problem we have the main effect alleged with 3 factor interactions ok and then but there is an interaction between um, the uh, 2 factors ok, 2 factor interaction true, 2 factor interaction. Now this design is called a yeah, resolution 4 design because here A, B, C is equal to D. So, this is called a resolution 4 design, this is called a resolution 3 design because main effects are interacting with 2 factor interaction, uh, 2 factor interaction here main effect um, is confounded with uh, 3 factor uh, ok, 3 factor interactions ok, whereas in this case the main effects are confounded with uh, 2 factor interactions. So, this is resolution 3 design, this is a resolution 4 design resolution 4 designs are ok, but resolution 3 designs are not good at all. So, in resolution 4 design what happens? Main effects are confounded with 3 way interactions, I mean 3 factor interactions. So, generally uh, 3 factor interactions are very rare scenario. So, if there is a change we can say it is because of the main effects ok. But then of course, uh, there are interaction, there are confounding between the 2 way interactions, confounding between the 2 way interaction. So, I will not be able to say whether something is because of A, B uh, or because of C, D, something is because of A, C or because of B, D. So, they are uh, aliasing. So, there is a confounding between these 2. So, in a resolution 4 design, 2, two factor interactions are confounded, main effects are confounded with the um, 3 way interaction, 3 factor interaction. Whereas, in a resolution 3 design, the main um, effects are confounded with the 2 factor interaction and resolution 3 design is not a good idea to derive ok. Ok, let us uh, look at uh, same problem ok, we looked at this um, A, B, C problem. So, it is a 2 part 3, so 8 experiments. So, what I did was uh, I put a D here. So, I made it into a 2 power 4 minus 1 design. Now, I want to put a E also, then it becomes uh, 1 fourth of 2 power 5, that is 2 power 5 minus 2 here. So, if I put E that is 5 factors, ideally I should be doing 32 experiments, but I want to do only 8 experiments. Instead of doing 32 experiments, I want to do only 8 experiments. So, that is 1 fourth of uh, 2 power 5 or 2 power 5 minus 2, this is what it is called 2 power 5 minus to design. So, I want to put D, I have put D in under A, B, C, but if I put E under uh, this, uh, the main effect E is confounding with the 2 way interactions and this is a resolution 3 design as I said before and this is not generally liked. So, if I have 5 factors ok, uh, this uh, it is not a good idea to do a 1 fourth uh, 2 power 5 design because I end up uh, uh, with the some 2 way interactions here, uh, this 2 way factor interaction interacting uh, confounded with the main effect ok. So, it is confounded with the main effect. So, this is called a resolution 3 design whereas, uh, the corresponding if you look here this is uh, this is a resolution 4 design. So, do you understand this picture and this picture ok, this picture and this picture. So, instead of doing 32 experiments I am thinking of doing 1 fourth of 32 that is 2 power 5 minus 2. Okay. So, this is a resolution 3 design because the main effects are confounded with the 2 factor interactions whereas, here instead of doing uh, with the 4 parameter instead of doing uh, 2 power 4 16 experiments I am doing half of 16 that is 2 power 4 minus 1. Here the main effects are confounded with the um, 3 factors interaction and uh, this is a resolution 4 design. Generally resolution 4 designs are ok resolution 3 designs are definitely not ok. Ok, uh, let us go forward further, let us look at a 6 factor which ok, 6 factor is what? 2 raised to the power 6, that means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 uh, 64 experiments ok, but I want to do only 1 fourth of that 16 experiments. So, it is 2 power 6 minus 2, so quarter fraction of 2 power 6 is 2 power 6 minus 2 fractional factorial design ok. Now, we have x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4. So, you start with the 2 full factorial for 2 power 4 because that is 16 experiments 2 power 4 is 2 into 2 into 2. So, you put x 1, x 2, x 3 and x 4 
and then write the all the interactions. You are going to have two way interaction. You are also going to have three way interactions x1, x2, x3, uh, x1, x2, x4, x1, x3, x4, x2, x3, x4, x1, x2, x4. Okay? So, that is how you first make. Okay? I want to do only 16 experiments. So, what gives me 16 experiments? 2 power 4, that is 4 parameters. So, I write the full. Now, I have to introduce two more uh, variables or parameters. Okay? I have introduced two more uh, effects or variables or parameters uh, in order to make it uh, 6. So, where do I introduce? Do I introduce here? Do I introduce here? Do I introduce here? Here, here. So, you have a lot of choices. Okay. Uh, suppose I introduce S6 here and S5 here. So, X5 is equal to X2, X3, X4 and X6 is equal to X1, X2, X3, X4. So, if I multiply X5 by X6, what will happen? I will be left be x1, x2, x2 will become 1, x3, x3 will become 1, x4, x4 will become 1. So, x5, s6 has become x1. This is not desired. As I have been telling, um, always uh, a, a main effect should not be confounded with two way interaction. So, the selection of putting here and here is not a good idea. So, I look at some other place. I am looking at this place instead of this and this, I am looking at this place. So, here x1, x2, x3 is x5, uh, x2, x3, x4 is x6. So, when I multiply x5 and x6, what happens? I have x1, x2 into x2 is 1, x3 into x3 is 1, x4 comes here. So, x5, x6 is x1, x4 that is a two-way interaction or two-factor interaction is confounded with another two-factor interaction. So, no problem. Okay, this is allowed. Okay, this is a resolution four design. Okay, the, no problem. Whereas this becomes a resolution three design. Okay, so it's a good idea to put your uh, x five here. It's a good idea to put your s six here. Do you understand? Do you understand how to go about creating such a uh, uh, design? Okay. I want to have six parameters, but I want to do only sixteen experiments. So sixteen experiments means. Uh, it is 2 power 4 for a full factorial 2 power 4 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 will give you 16 4 parameters x1 x2 x3 x4 so i write down the whole design whole design means i will have a column for x1 column for x2 column for x3 column for x4 and then i'll say minus 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 then i say plus minus 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 then i'll put minus plus minus minus like that i'll build up then how do i generate the two way interaction simple x1 into x2 means minus minus is plus plus minus is minus minus plus is minus plus plus is plus minus minus is plus like that i build x1 x3 i'll multiply x1 into x3 minus minus is plus like that i build this like that i build all the two way interactions then i go to three way x1 x2 x3 so minus 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 will give you minus like that I build up all the three way. Then finally, I get the four way interaction. So, this is the entire design table with the interactions okay, for a four parameter. Now, I want to introduce two more parameters x5 and x6 because I want to do a one fourth design of 2 power 6. So, how do I represent 2 power 6 minus 2 or a one fourth fraction of 2 power 6? The question is where do I introduce these two variables? You no, know, x5 here and x6 here or I have so many choices here, here, uh, okay, because a main effect can be always confounded with three way interactions, three parameter interactions, okay, three factor interaction. So, when I do this, x5 is equal to x2, x3, x4 and x6 is equal to x1, x2, x3, x4, what happens? When I multiply x5, x6, I will have x2 into x2 gone, 1, x3 into x3 is 1, x4 into x4, 1. So, I will be left with x1. So, x5, x6 is confounded with x1. This is a resolution 3 design which is not desired at all because the main effect is confounded with the two factor interaction. So, I need to look at some other place where to put my x5 and x6. So, I think of this place and this place. So, when I do this, okay, when I do that, x5 is equal to x1, x2, x3, s6 is equal to x2, x3, x4. So, when I multiply x5, s6, you will get x1, x2, x2, 1, 
x 3 x 3 will become 1. So, x 1 and x 4. So, you have a uh, two factors confounded with each other which is ok this is a resolution 4 design ok. So, this is allowed. So, I can put x 5 here I can put x 6 here. What about these two places can I put x 5 x 6 why do not you take this as your uh, homework and uh, try to work out no because you have different places where you can put your x 5 x 6 here on here or here and here. So, I want you to try and see whether you end up with a resolution 3 or a resolution 4 design whether it is ok to allow. Okay, do you understand how to go about doing this type of uh, approach? Okay, we talked about uh, we introduced some terminologies like alleged x 5 is aliasing with x 1 x 2 x 3 or x 5 is confounded with x 1 x 2 x 3. Okay, so, this is confounded with this and so aliasing. Okay, so, we understand the aliasing relationship. So, 1, 2, 3 and 5. So, this is called a design generator 1, 2, 3, 5 aliased with okay, 2, 3, 4, 6. So, or we can say 2, 3, 4, 6 or 1, 4, 5, 6. Okay, sorry, yeah, 1, 4, 5, 6. So, the main effects 1 is confounded with 2, 3, 5. Okay, 1 is confounded with 2, 3, 5. Uh, which is confounded with the 4, 5, 6, okay, which is confounded with 2, 3, 4, 6, 2 is confounded with the 1, 3, 5, 2 is confounded with 3, 4, 6, it is also confounded with 1, 4, 5, 6, 3 is confounded with the 1, 2, 5, uh, confounded with 2, 4, 6, uh, 1, 4, 5, 6, like that we can build up, right? 4 is confounded with 1, 2, 3, 5 or 2, 3, 6 or 1, 5, 6, 5 is confounded with 1, 2, 3 or 2, 3, 4, 6 or 1, 4, 6. And these are the two factor interactions which may be confounded. 1, 2 is confounded with 3, 5, 1, 3 is confounded with 2, 5, uh, 2, 3 is confounded with 1, 5 and so on actually, right. So, this is a very useful relation to build up initially and then with that we can build up everything. We understand and this is a 4, okay. Um, resolution of design of 4 okay, because this you have 3 plus 1 right the minimum. Okay, this is how you do the aliasing relationship do you understand. So, we take up uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 5 as I, 2, 3, 4, 6 as I, uh, 1, 4, 5, 6 as equal to I right here and then we build up how they are going to be related 1 will be remaining is 2, 3, 5. 2 will be uh, 3, 4, 6 or 1, 3, 5 like that you understand and then how to build up the two factor interaction also is given here ok. Um, so, as originally we said in the previous picture uh, when we put here uh, this becomes a resolution 3 design because we have uh, this type of relation ok. Now, uh, what are what is the aliasing relation i is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 ok which is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, which is equal to 5, 6, okay. just like in this previous case it is like this. So, we can build up all the relationship here no problem right. So, 2 will be equal to 3, 4, 5 or 2 will be equal to 1, 3, 4, 5, 1, 3, 4, 6 um, okay. I like that. So, here comes 1 will be equal to 5, 6 or 1 is equal to 2, 3, 4, 6 what is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on actually ok. And uh, 2 will be equal to 3, 4, 5, 2 will be equal to 1, 3, 4, 6 or 1, 5, 6 like that it, we can build up the I relationship also that is the aliasing relationship. This is a resolution 3 design because uh, we have uh, 3 minimum comes out to be 3 of that ok. okay. Now, the other one where when we selected this and this ok. Uh, x 5 is equal to x 1 x 2 x 3 uh, s 6 is equal to x 2 x 3 x 4. Uh, so, your i is equal to uh, 1 2 3 5 or equal to 2 3 4 6 or equal to 1 4 5 6 ok do you understand. So, 1 will be uh, confounded with 2 3 5 or 2 3 4 6 or 4 5 6 <coughs> this is a resolution 4 design because we have a relationship involving the minimum comes out to be 4 parameters ok. So, you understand uh, the concept of how to introduce a new parameter if you are doing a fractional factorial design how to identify the resolution 
of that design in the factorial and how to look at the aliasing relationship. Okay. So, this x5, x1, x2, this one, this is called a design generator because we can look at all the combinations, right? i is equal to 1, 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 4, 6, 1, 4, 5, 6 and so on actually, right? So, 5 equal to 1, 2, 3, 6 is equal to 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6 is equal to 1, 4 like that, no? So, this is called a design generator and as I said, resolution is the shortest word the generator this is 4 okay whereas uh, if you look at this one you have x5 s6 is equal to 1 so this is the shortest no 1 is equal to 5 6 so obviously resolution 3 can you understand how to build up these resolutions in this okay okay the properties of fractional factorial design just like your uh, full factorial design or fractional uh, it has to be balanced okay all the pluses in the main effect should be equal to all the minuses and it should have orthogonal, one is balance, orthogonal, all the interactions also the pluses should be equal to minus. So, factors occur equal number of times at low and high levels, the interactions also same thing happen. Otherwise, if you do not have like that, if you have more pluses than minus, then it is biased. That means, you would like to do more experiments at the higher level than lower level. So, it is not a really balanced uh, uh, design, that is not very okay. So, sample size for main effect we will take half of total sample size for two factor interactions one fourth. Okay. Uh, so, this is properties once you make your design check cover in case you made any mistake whether the design is balanced, whether it is orthogonal, whether the resolution is uh, more than 3 and so on actually. Okay. You need to understand these properties. Okay. Um, another thing is For half fractions, always L is the new factor with the highest order interaction terms. Okay, so the question is: uh, Suppose I have a two power four design, that means sixteen experiments. Okay, two power four, sixteen experiments. Now I want to place five, the fifth factor. That is, um, that means half of two power five. That is half of thirty-two. That is, it's called two power five minus one. Do you understand? Uh, where should I place? Okay, the best place of course is here, you cannot place it here because it will become a resolution 3 design. Okay. Um, you can try it placing, but then you may have problems. So, best place is to always allege the new factor with the highest order interaction term here, safe, you are very safe. Okay. So, x1, x2, x3, x4 is equal to x5. That is how your uh, equation will look like, the I equation will look like, okay, aliasing equation will look like. Do you understand? So, write out the full factorial for the first k minus 1 factors for a half fraction. Okay. So, if I am doing a 2 power 4 half fraction of 2 power 4, I will write a 2 power 3 full factorial design. If I am writing a, a half, if I am interested in half of 2 power 5, then I will write the 2 power 4 design fully. Okay, because half of 2 power 5 is 2 power 4. So, I write the 2 power 4 fully. Uh, similar, okay. So, first I will write the full design for the k minus 1 factor and then associate the last kth factor into the column okay, that is the higher order interaction and put the new variable there that is always good. So, half fractional is very, very easy to do. Okay, it is not very difficult. Uh, one fourth fraction I as I showed in the example, uh, especially if I want to add two variables where to put is a little bit uh, tricky, but when you are doing a half fraction it is very simple. What you do is you take a design which is uh, number of factors minus 1 okay, and then you put your new variable in the highest order interaction that is how you do actually. So, now you understood what is um, how to uh, estimate resolution and how to look at uh, the concept of the design generator, okay, the aliasing equation. So, re resolution 3 design as I said um, has a uh, uh, main effect interacting aliased with the two order attractions. Resolution 4 design main effect is aliased or confounded with only three order and third order interaction and two factor interactions are aliased with each two factor interactions. That means, A, B will be equal to C, D and so on. Resolution 5 design uh, main effects are aliased with only fourth order interaction that is four factor interaction and two factors are aliased with three factor interaction. This is very, very good 
resolution 5 but the number of experiments go up. So generally this is okay, resolution 4 design is okay but uh, this is generally not okay. Okay, this is how uh, we go about uh, thinking process. Okay, so uh, let us again come back. Uh, suppose I have uh, 2, 3 power minus 1. That means uh, there are 4 runs instead of doing 8 runs. Okay, for a 3 factor, instead of doing 8 runs, I want to do only 4 runs, that is half of 2 power 3. The design generated is C is equal to AB. Okay, so I have uh, A, B and then I have AB, under that AB column I will put it as C. This is a 3 resolution design. Okay. Now let us go to the next one. Um, I have 4 parameters, 4 factors. Okay. So I, I want to make a uh, half of that, that means I want to make half of 16 experiments, 2, 4, minus 1. So I first take the 2 power 3 design, 2 power 3 design is uh, 3, 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8. Okay, and then I introduce the new variable D under the column of ABC. Okay, this is my design generator. Okay, I is equal to ABC D. Okay, and this is a resolution four design, and a design generator is I is equal to ABC D, and this is a four design because I have four terms here. Okay, this is okay. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Uh, 2 power 5 that means 5 parameters. So, I have 32 experiments but I want to do only half of that. So, 2 power 5 minus 1. So, I am doing only 16 experiments. So, I introduce the new variable E under A, B, C, D column. So, this is a resolution 5 design, you understand? Resolution 5 design. But if I want to do 1 fourth of 32 experiments that is 2 raised to the power 5 minus 2 that is 8 runs then I end up having D equal to AB equal to AC then that becomes a resolution 3 design this is not good. Okay. Uh, if you go for 6 parameter 2 power 6 uh, maximum will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 okay. Okay. that means uh, 64 experiments. If I want to do half of that 2, 6 minus 1 design that is 32 experiments. So how do I introduce the in that 32 that is 2 power 5. Okay, uh, I introduce F, the sixth parameter under this. So this is a resolution six design because you have six terms here. Uh, if I do one fourth of that thirty-two experiment, that is sixteen experiments, two six minus two. What do I do? I put E as A B C, F as A C D. That's a resolution four design because four terms. Um, but if I make, uh, um, okay. Instead of that, in, instead of doing sixty-four experiments, I am doing eight experiments, one eighth. 2 raised to the power 6 minus 3, then I end up D equal to AB, E equal to AC, F is equal to BC, that is a resolution 3 design. So, design generator here is I equal to ABD uh, equal to ACE equal to BCF. This is a resolution 3 design because we have these type of interactions. The main effects are confounded or alleged with two factor interactions, okay. that is a resolution. Do you understand how it looks like for a 2? level designs. Okay. So, we will continue further in the next class on uh, different types of uh, uh, designs. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.